Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Uh, today in this video we're going to be going through some inverters on basically how we're able to power our normal domestic household appliances in our camper van. We're going to convert battery power, 12 volts from our leisure batteries, through these inverters and create normal household electricity. So basically we have connections on the back of these inverters. We have we have negative and positive inputs that we connect to the battery. And on the other side, we have two 13 amp sockets. We can use this to power two different circuits within the van. Now, inside in these, they're both fed from the same source. So even though you've got two sockets, it would just normally mean that you'd be able to allow it to plug in two different appliances directly into it. But because we're gonna be wiring this into a camper van, we're gonna have a series of sockets that we're gonna wire. This is the 2000 watt inverter, which basically means that it can power quite a lot of stuff. This is a 1000 watt inverter, which is quite a small inverter, um, but will still be able to power quite a lot of things. One of the things that we're gonna be doing in our camper van is we're gonna be putting in a standard domestic household fridge. It's an under counter fridge with a little freezer compartment. So let's have a look and see how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna do a much more in-depth video into these inverters, how we wire them, how we connect them, we're going to go through all of that. But for the meantime, we're just going to go through the basics. So a standard inverter, as we said before, black, negative, red, positive. We can just connect the black to the black terminal on the battery, the red to the red terminal on the battery and link them and power the inverters up. So let's do that. Okay, so black to black, red to red. So basically we've got this connected, we turn it on, we've got power. When I'm putting this in the camper van and I'm going through it in the much more detailed video, um, what I'm basically going to do is we're going to have this inverter and the battery and all the cable protected by a breaker. I'm not going to go through that, that's more for a more in-depth video. But basically we have power on and power off. So now effectively we should be able to run a device that's designed to run off your mains household power at home that you just plug into a socket in the wall. Here we have a hammer drill with a standard three pin plug on it. We'll plug it into our three pin socket on our inverter. So that's plugged into the inverter, the inverter's plugged into the battery. So that's how we generate household power or mains power, 230 volts AC, which is the standard here in Ireland, the UK, most of Europe, in the United States, it's 110 volts, but it's exactly the same principle, just a different type of inverter. Is when we're in the camper van, we have this device here, which is our battery monitor. Again, I'm gonna show a bench connection of all of these set up and how they would work for real in the camper van. But just for the purpose of this video, basically this is connected to this, which is our shunt, which goes in between the battery power and the inverter. And it basically records how much power we have in the battery, how much power we have remaining in the battery and how much power we're using on any particular given appliance. And we can do a real world test of that in the camper van, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. This is just the basic setup of the inverter. Um, so this is 620 watt drill, this is a 1000 watt inverter. I always maintain, I try to allow 75% uh, error factor. What I mean by that is, is that if I calculate the power of all the items in the camper van that we're going to use, I want to make sure that under no circumstances are we ever really going to use any more than 75% of the power that's available to us. Now this inverter is a thousand watts. I want to make sure that no matter what I do, I never put a load of any more than 750 watts on it. They say they're rated for a one second surge protection of 2000 watts, which means is that you can put a very big load very, very quickly on it. Why would we do this? Most electric motors, when they start, draw a lot of power just to get them spinning. And once they're spinning, it takes a lot less power to keep them spinning. This is a 2000 watt inverter. So I, realistically speaking, wouldn't put any more of a load than 1,500 watts. 
what that basically means is is that no appliance in the camper van will be running any more than 1500 watts these are middle of the range inverters uh, they're made by a company called silverline they do there's 2000 watts there's 1000 watts available there are much cheaper inverters available there are much more expensive inverters available what we need to do is decide within our budget what we can afford and what sort of power we need so i'm going to link in the description below some links to budget inverters middle of the range inverters and top of the range inverters the difference is, is some of the more basic inverters um, just literally have an on off switch and a 13 amp socket some of the better ones they have slightly more power they have two 13 amp sockets which means i could run two different circuits you also have two usbs if you wanted to charge some tech now there are much more expensive inverters that have remote monitoring so you can plug in a remote monitoring to go and have a look in your habitation area in your camper van or your boat for that matter um, rvs whatever the other main thing is, is that we're going to be running all of our uh, usb sockets as these guys so basically we have a usb socket we open it up and we want to charge our gadgets off it some people off their inverters when they're putting their sockets in their camper vans or their rvs or their boats they put the 230 volt socket with the usb outlet on them the only downside to that is is that you have to have your inverter on to run your usb sockets so what we're going to do in our camper van is we're going to wire the usb sockets through a circuit directly to the battery through our 12 volt fuse box if you haven't seen the 12 volt fuse box uh, there's a link to the video on it has shown us that uh, by using a battery an inverter we can use most of our household appliances in our camper vans in our rvs in our boats in our remote cabins um any of these so literally you could put a battery um an inverter and your coffee maker in the back of your car and go off camping for the weekend and use this setup to have fresh coffee every morning if you wanted to go to the trouble of dragging this and you weren't hiking up a mountain so we're going to have batteries inverters solar panels for charging battery to battery charger that charges the leisure batteries from the vehicle's engine through the vehicle battery directly to our leisure batteries again more different videos but basically for now this is what we're going to be coming up with we're going to be monitoring the progress of everything with our battery monitor um, and that will basically give us as much voltage as we need to run all of our domestic appliances if you want to see the full tutorial and setup on setting up the bench test of the inverters the batteries the battery monitors and the whole lot have a look at our other videos you'll see the link to that um, it's a much longer video it's a much more in-depth video and it goes through all the various different pieces wire sizing where to position all of this tech and make sure that we have our camper van set up for the way we want to but in the meantime Thank you very much for watching i hope this has been informative and has given you an idea of how to use our batteries our inverters to run our normal household appliances in your camper van rv or boat for that matter if you have already subscribed thank you very much uh, if you haven't subscribed maybe you'd consider doing so here and then here's a couple of videos that might be worth a watch to give you a bit of an idea of what else we're going to be doing with the camper van thanks for watching goodbye